This is my Christmas tree tangle tutorial we did in Alive. I always begin all my tangles with gratitude and appreciation for the pen, paper, my breath, family, whatever it is that I'm grateful for. I take some inhales thinking of those things. On the exhale, I get rid of all the junk, worries, fears, things I have no control over, whether it was five minutes ago, five years ago, five days ago. And I really spend time focusing on the present moment. The future isn't here yet. The past is gone. So I just really focus on present moment. So I rough sketched a Christmas tree and here I'm drawing like these ribbons or a garland to wrap around. And I do this with a very elongated number two. And I hook around the edges of uh, both sides of the tree and I just have them go back and forth. Then what I'll do is uh, they kind of look like uh, two hooks for the ladder of a swimming pool and then I, I connect those, but you'll see that when I ink this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and ink these very long extended, what looks like kind of a number two or a backwards S. And you'll see how right here I get the, what it looks like a ladder into a pool, right? And then what I'm gonna do is uh, connect the ends of those and that's what gives the, the 3D illusion of the ribbon. And then I'll fill that in just to remind myself that I'm going to fill it in, which is what gets rid of like the, the hook part of the ladder so you can't see it. And then I'll fill in the rest of that ribbon uh, later on. So I speed this up. Um, I was wasting a lot of ink, so I, get, I got out a Sharpie. You can use any pen, any paper, any pencil to do any of these tangles. Um, I do them for meditation, anxiety, stress relief, creativity, all of the above. Now what I'm starting in this tangle up above is a tangle called Senna, which begins with a U shape. And then all you just do is take all different sorts of lines, curves, come off of that. There is no rhyme or rule to Senna. So you just begin these anywhere and just kind of go with the flow, I would say. And this is exactly what I did with it. it. It turned out amazing. Now keep in mind, as you tangle, take note, are you holding your breath? If you're holding your breath, make sure that you start breathing. If you are clenching your jaw or your teeth, kind of, you know, release that. This is very much more about the journey through the tangling than it is the actual tangle at the end, that to me just ends up being a bonus. To me, it's very much about the journey through the whole process. So now we're doing crescent moon in this, this next section, and that starts with kind of this ladybug filling in this half circle. I like to leave a little space not filled with ink to give it a little bit of shine. Then I aura it, and auraing it is when a line is drawn equidistant next to another line or tangle that follows the shape of the existing line or tangle like a halo or a ripple in a pond. And this is the definition from the Zentangle method. For me, I think of the aura around my body or like tracing something. So then I like to go in and add more ladybugs, more auras, more ladybugs, more auras to give this 3D, just very beautiful layering effect, which I just love. So I continue to do this breathing, making sure that I'm light with the pen, light with the pressure. And that means both gripping the pen and the pressure I'm putting onto the paper. So now this next section, I'm doing Cadent, which begins with orbs. You can have them all over the place, wherever you want. And then you take off and land from each orb with an elongated letter S, forward facing S. And then you connect them with the same S. And then what I did was I aurad each side and the bottom, just auraing them. I did that all the way around, breathing, light with the pen, light with the pressure, and I also did it at the bottom. Once I got done with this, I decided to add printomps uh, in the center, which many of you know as a spiral. And I do this on the inside, and then once it gets to that border, I have it go underneath the border. And I do this all the way around. And then what I do at the very bottom here is I really go ahead and 
ink the outside lines of the, the tree. And then I have this kind of zigzag line go down the bottom. And I decided to smush orbs. And I love to smush orbs, which is why my Facebook group is called Smush Squad. And what we like to do when we're doing orbs is to make sure that we're breathing. We go smush, smush. And we actually say it. Because one of the things that helps you to know if you're holding your breath is if you say something as you're doing it. And so try that and see if it works for you. So this is how the tree turned out. And then I added lots of sparkle color and made it Christmassy pop. And as you can see, uh, this is a, a glitter pen that I put on top of the black ribbon. Um, lots of watercolor pencils, charcoal. I used about every medium that I could on this. And I love the depth that it gave. Um, I also use some white charcoal. Many of these items come in kits that I have in my Etsy shop, so you can check that out. I also have Zoom classes that are, the link to those are on my website. Many are pre-recorded, so you could buy now and begin doing those. Otherwise, I have normal Zoom classes on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central, and registration is on my website for those as well. But if you're really interested in getting into depth with some of these tangles, check out some of those classes that I have um, pre-recorded on my website. Otherwise, the new classes are every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central. And except Thursdays, I am live at 7 p.m. Central every day. Any pen, any paper, any pencil. See you then.